possible midfield signings coming in for United, the race remains open for Benfica wonderkid Joao Neves, who has been scouted by the Red Devils and also by Manchester City, Fabrizio Romano said. Benfica will insist on the release clause of €120 million, Euros, pound 103m, being triggered, so it's not an easy deal, but the Interest from Premier League clubs is there in terms of scouting. So far, no club has approached Benfica to start a negotiation yet, so it remains absolutely open. Man United ready to agree over £89.3 million fee to secure signing. Manchester United have been linked with Joao Neves for a long time and the latest reports indicate the Red Devils are preparing to break their transfer record to lure him. Per a recent story published by The People, news image provided below, co-owner Ratcliffe is ready to splash the cash to reinforce the squad in the summer transfer window. In such a scenario, the British media outlet have mentioned that Man United looks set to approve a record-breaking fee to hire the services of Neves. Back in 2016, the Old Trafford outfit paid £89.3 million to sign Paul Pogba from Juventus, and the Frenchman is still the club's record signing. It is stated that if United get Neves, who has a release clause of £103 million in his contract with Benfica, they would pay over. Pound 89.3 million. The 19 year old was part of the Benfica squad that won the Liga Nos title last season, and he has been highly impressive in the current campaign. So far, the teenage sensation has started 20 games in the league for the Eagles and helped the team keep no fewer than 12 clean sheets. Moreover, he has also scored two goals and provided as many assists. Neves has already made three appearances for the senior national side and would likely be part of the Portugal squad. At the Euros in Germany, Man United need a new and quality number six who can serve the club in the long run. In your view, should they agree a fee of more than £89.3 million to secure Joao Neves? Manchester United Transfer News Live Man United get injury boosts as they share financial results. All the very latest Man United news, views and transfer updates from the Manchester Evening News. Manchester United will be targeting a place in the semi-finals of the FA Cup when they face Liverpool at the quarter-final stage at Old Trafford this weekend. The FA Cup represents United's only remaining hope of winning a trophy this season, and they will be determined to make the most of the opportunity. The Reds reached the final of the competition last season, of course, but lost 2-1 to Manchester City at Wembley. United will be hoping to go one better this season and clinch their second piece of silverware of the Eric Ten Hag era. However, they will, first up, have to get the better of Liverpool, who are still in with a chance of winning four trophies this term. Opinion: What United centre-back options could look like next season? Rafael Verne is expected to be sold if an appropriate offer arrives for him this summer, while one of Harry Maguire or Victor Lindelof could also be sold to increase the transfer budget if the club is confident of signing a second central defender. As one of their highest earners, it makes sense to try and cash in on Verony while he still holds a good resale value to the club, but he has been one of their most reliable defenders this season and is still considered. Fabrizio Romano confirms Man United have decided to buy new left back in the summer. Manchester United have reportedly decided to buy a new left sided full back when the summer transfer window opens. Initially, it was thought that the centre-back position was the main area of the backline which United were keen on strengthening. This term, injuries to key defenders have hindered the team from nailing down a consistent run of results and performances. Diogo Dalit remains the only first-team defender not to have picked up a physical setback.
with the future of the likes of Raphael Verini, Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire, and Victor Lindelof far from secure, central defense has widely been tipped to be the main priority for United. However, according to Romano, the left-back role will also be addressed by the club. At the moment, Eric Ten Hag has no senior and fit left-back available for selection. Both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia are currently out with long-term injuries. Shaw has missed large parts of the campaign and has been in and out of the treatment room. The Englishman has only managed 15 appearances across all competitions. Malaysia has yet to play even a single minute of action this term. The Dutchman got injured during pre-season and suffered an undisclosed setback during his recovery. Ten Hag recently expressed doubts about whether Malaysia will at all feature for United before the season draws to a close. Shaw is also very unlikely to play competitively before the campaign ends. Ten Hag will almost certainly have to see out the rest of the season with no natural left back. Lindelof has been mandated to occupy that position in the meantime. Sofian Amrabat can also play there but much like Lindelof, is not really effective. According to Romano, Manchester United have already planned months ago to bring in a new left back in the summer. Expected to be a young one, an important player. Shortlist to be decided once board structure will be completed but Manchester. United will go for LB, no matter what happens with Malaysia. The upcoming window is gradually shaping up to be a pivotal one in United's history. Rafael Verini, Casemiro's Everton display proving Ineo's summer TR. Bruno Fernandes stuns as Man United get back to winning ways in 2-0 match report. Manchester United 2-0 Everton, Man United News and T. Three things we learned as Manchester United ease past Everton in two, Manchester United 2-0 Everton, player ratings. Man United News and Eric Ten Hag Fabrizio Romanoluk Shotirel Malaysia. Derek Canotti is a football writer at the People's Person who has covered Manchester United and the game extensively for many years. He is a keen analyst with expertise in SEO and journalism standards. Derek is convinced Wayne Rooney is the true GOAT and won't hear otherwise. Fabrizio Romano has revealed that Manchester United's prospects of selling Case Moreau in a big-money summer deal remain alive. Having starred in his first season at Old Trafford, Case Miro has struggled to make a similar impression this time around. Although the Brazil international is under contract until 2026, Man United are expected to cut their losses and sell the 32-year-old in the summer should a suitable bid come in as Sir Jim Ratcliffe targets a new-look team for next term. Ronaldo was wrong. Saudi Pro League a massive flop as embarrassing TV figures revealed. Big European clubs are unlikely to be willing to spend big on a player who appears to be past his best, yet football transfer specialist Romano says that interest from the Saudi Pro League remains. For Case Miro at the moment talks are not advanced, but the interest from Saudi is still there. Romano confirmed on the daily briefing they were interested in the midfielder last summer, and then again around October slash November some. Calls were made to intermediaries to understand the situation. It's important to mention that there was never a concrete proposal put to Manchester United. Let's see what will.